So it's okay. This table is called a microgrid multi-touch table. Yeah. And on the table you see a microgrid, so to say, uh, uh, energy landscape. Okay. How it can look like in the future. Mm -hmm. So, and if we talk about energy uh, systems, usually you have some loads. So these tokens here um, represents different generation, like uh, renewable generation, wind power, combined heat and, and power, uh, immobility, photovoltaics, and uh, different uh, things, and loads. Loads are on the other side. So, and on the table, you can build your own energy landscape. Mm -hmm. And uh, we as Siemens, we provide solutions to build up the energy landscape of the future. So more and more renewables come into the, the uh, energy landscapes. Okay. And this we can, uh, we, we can play around a little bit. Okay. So let's build an energy it's, system. Okay. So usually the energy system consists of a load. Okay. So like industrial loads, for example. As you can see, in the middle, this represents the local energy system, a mm -hmm. microgrid, yeah. or an industrial grid, like we have it here. Industrial load connected to the microgrid or to that uh, energy system, mm -hmm. and we have to switch on the grid connection. Because okay. usually, industrial loads are grid connected, so you can switch it on. So as you can see, the energy is flowing from a utility grid, outside grid, to the load. Okay. Yeah, and what is this node? The, the node system. represents, so to say, the microgrid itself. It's uh, the energy node. So okay. To say. So okay. the load is uh, supplied by the uh, outside grid. We okay. buy the energy from okay. outside grid. So in, in some regions, or uh, in case you have a, a, a very sensitive industry a process, like a weavery or something like that, or silicium uh, 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 reactors where silicium cells are produced, yeah. It's very important to have a stable grid connection. If yep. the grid connection fails, you have a problem. No energy anymore. Blackout. Yeah. Blackout, yeah. yeah. The, the red exclamation mark is blinking. Yeah. That mark says there is something wrong or something dangerous. Yep. So in that case, blackout. Yeah. What uh, does um, the, 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 the uh, people do, the owners of that industry? Usually they place, where it is, a diesel generator. Diesel generator. We need a backup generation. Yes, like that one. Backup generation. As you see, if the grid fails, the diesel generator takes over. Yep. So, in these times, um, the, the fuel costs are rising. Yep. So, CO2, you have more and more restriction in case of CO2 footprints. Mm -hmm. So, we must bring down the consumption of the diesel generator. And how, and how you, we can do this? By integration of renewables, like a PV plant, for example. Yeah? Okay. So in this case, we integrate a PV plant to bring down our en energy consumption. But now if we talk about um, uh, uh, conventional generation, you might have a problem. As you can see, the red exclamation mark is blinking. Okay, what's the problem here? The problem can be that you can't reduce your diesel generation uh, further. So a diesel generator usually can be uh, or must be loaded with uh, at least 30% of its rated uh -huh. power. Okay. And if it's technical constraints. Yes. And if your photovoltaic system is producing too much PV, uh, too much energy out of PV, you can have a problem in the system. So one problem can be uh, voltage is rising, frequency is rising, and it might, there might be the chance for also a blackout. Mm -hmm. So, you need someone who balances this out. It balances, who tells the diesel generation uh, you have to produce, you to curtail your PV, for example, mm -hmm. to a certain amount. And that uh, solution we pro provide. And it's what called is it? microgrid. Microgrid manager. So, this is a super token. So, if we put it, you see, the diesel generation is reduced. Yeah, it's mm. everything is balanced so that that um, ones and zeros in the, in the middle represents now you have more transparency on, 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 on your electrical system but because before you're more or less blind so mm. and with our system you have the possibility to, to see all the electric values all energy flows in the system. You okay. can optimize your system. Yeah? Okay. It's, it's one of our, um, uh, what we can provide, for example, is uh, consulting 
in case of how big the PV the sizing must of be, the system. Uh, how big the diesel generator must be, or if there is a possibility to replace the diesel by combined heat and power. Combined so heated power. What combined heat and power plants. You see it on that side. And what is it uh, exactly? It's, uh, for example, a gas engine fired gas with engine. natural gas, but you are all, uh, possible not only to use the electric power, but also the thermal power. Okay. So if we talk about a normal engine, you have about 30% efficiency. Uh -huh. On top, if you use the thermal power, you have another 40%. How you use efficiency. the thermal power? Combined cycle, you mean, on these things? Yes. Uh, okay. Usually it's cooled by water. Ah, okay. And you use the cooling water, putting it into the thermal process. Yeah, okay. You use the thermal energy. Yes. yes. Uh, that's another possibility. And all is um, uh, uh, controlled by that microgrid manager or microgrid control system. Okay. Yes. Okay. And okay. yeah, we can we can play around a little bit with the system. Yeah. Uh, okay. For example, we have also storage devices here, uh, battery storage it? devices. So. I like to, to try one one uh, uh, use case or one scenario. So as you see, now our storage is charged by diesel or by the CHP. Yeah. Okay, not that good, but I try something. Uh, let's say uh, let's say we will have more PV production. You see, the storage is charged. Yeah, by PV production. And we put some more load on the table. <laughs> I want to build a specific scenario, a realistic scenario. Let's try this one. No, that's not enough load. There it is. We need more load. So now you see 4,000, load 4,000, another 4,000. Yeah, we have a problem because our battery yeah. might be empty. Ah, the battery is empty. Yeah. No one told the battery to charge up before, ah, based on a load okay, forecast, okay. for example. Okay. Yeah, and that's why we have the micro, the micro -grid grid controller, and now you see the battery is discharging and is supplying the load. Because okay. we have a forecasting system for lo uh, doing load forecast, weather forecast, generation forecast, and based on that forecast, you can say uh, how to charge the battery to be prepared on peaks. So you make forecasting for, for one day, one hour? Up to seven days. Up to this, seven days? Up to seven days, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Depending okay. on which system uh, you use, up to seven days. And by that you can optimize the utilization of your battery. Yeah. And you. you can extend the lifetime of the battery, for example, the lifetime or maintenance uh, cycle. How do you extend the lifetime of the battery? What what you consider for like So, that? without a control. Your yeah. battery is charged if there is uh, excess, uh, too much power in the system or discharged if there is too less power. Yeah. So it, it, it doesn't care about uh, if it makes sense to use the power of the battery. Mm -hmm. So if you think about the costs of a battery, let's, let's make it simple. Uh, normal lithium ion battery storage mm -hmm. costs if you take one kilowatt hour of lithium ion mm -hmm. and one kilowatt in inverter system yeah. around 1000 euros. Yeah, around that. And if you take, uh, usually you have, okay, there are new batteries on the market, but let's make it sim simple, around 4,000 cycles. So a ah, cycle okay. is uh, you take one kilowatt hour out of the battery and you charge it in. That's one cycle. Okay, this and is for if, one kilowatt hour yes. battery. And if you calculate that, so 1,000 euros divided one. by 4,000, you have uh, 0.25 euros for okay. one kilowatt hour of energy. Okay, based on uh, Simi's recommendation, which is better to use lithium ion batteries or lead acid batteries? Or you don't depends give the on, recommendation? Depends on the application. What, what is the sensitive point? So, uh, if you have a look on power plants, for example, yeah. uh, they're usually lead acid batteries. Are used. Lead acid batteries, yeah. Why? Because they are uh, very robust uh, if they are maintained. If uh, they are charged, uh, 80%, 90% and uh, maintained properly, so refill, refill the water and all, 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 of, the, all of the things, they, they, the lifetime is very long. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, the C rate is low, so yeah. of a lead acid battery. Yeah. So, so to say the reaction uh, time of a lead acid battery is lower than a lithium battery. Okay. You have okay. to charge it 
Well, very, no. very careful. So, yeah. so you have to charge it to a to a certain uh, uh, state of charge. Okay. You have to maintain it, and uh, but it lives long. So you have to be it's careful. Usually for um, under, uninterrupted power supplies. There, in, in large-scale plants, a lead-acid battery would be the, the, the weapon of choice. You mean that's for long-time usage, long, maybe... Yeah, lead, yeah. Lead if you have the tra chance to maintain it. Yeah. If you're grid-connected and, and it's, it's, it's only used for emergency cases, for example. Yeah. yeah. And it's charged up every time after it is used. This might okay. be a, a good choice, yeah. Okay. And... Uh, for lithium-ion? Lithium-ion is a very fast... Uh, charging and technology in charging and discharging, ah, and okay. the C rate is, is very is high. high. Yeah. Okay. So in Siemens we have uh, the C storage, for example. Uh, they have C rates. So if you talk about normal usage, up to four. So the C rate is um, the ratio of installed capacity to power you can uh, take out. Yep. So if you have a C rate of four, and you have one kilowatt hour of um, um, storage installed, you yeah. can pull out four kilowatts kilowatt of electric power. Nice. Yeah? Yeah. In, in case of, of uh, lead acid batteries, it's up to uh, one. Yeah, it depends, so like it depends on the application, that's what you say. Absolutely. It, it depends, depends on the on application. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Yes, and that's so the table. Uh, we, can, we can also demonstrate what happens if I, if I switch off the sun or it's dark. <laughs> uh, oh, sun is not. Yes, no, sun is good. Well, but <laughs> well, now we, we again have a problem. Yeah. There is two less energy in the system, I think. We have four, eight. Ah, sorry. Four, eight. Yes. Yeah, we have one two load. less energy in the system. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then we have. In any case, we would have a problem. Yeah, we would, the micro we the must, uh, We must put more generation like a wind, wind farm. Can you place a wind farm on the table? Yes, this one? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, it's now solved. it's solved. So everything is balanced. Yeah. And you see, that's uh, yeah, the main use case of our microgrid, the microgrid control, is to balance so the load much. with the generation. Fantastic explanation. Thank you yeah. so much. Many, many thanks.